What is the cure off? It's three main functionalities. One is we register the user's machine, and we can do that via our services. We have some pretty nifty uh, hosted services uh, that, that do registration. We can do a phone call. Uh, Garrett Grayjack, your one time password is 1234. We can do SMS text messaging. We can do email, or we can do static one time passwords. The relevance here is that's all one time passwords, and there's a way to get that information out of band, get that away from the attacker to your end user to make sure we're giving a certificate to a trusted user. Once that is done, there's something absolutely unique on Planet Earth to the secure off product. What we do is not only do we deliver a personal certificate in, in multiple key, uh, key stores if needed, and what I mean by that is uh, um, the uh, any Connect uh, product that Cisco offers for the Firefox actually looks for the key store in not only the NSS key store for Firefox, but also the Microsoft and the Java key store. Our product is the only product that out there that is able to put the, those key stores and all of those key stores where the Cisco ASA is looking for it. But we also create a trusted root chain on the end user's browser. And in, in the demo, we'll go through that, where that is about that. But what is relevant to the audience is, in effect, that makes you a virtual certificate authority. We do not need RSA or NTrust or GeoTrust. They don't need one of their certificates. Utilizing our certificate, you can have a secure authentication where information is taken from that certificate given to the end user and mapped specifically to your ASA that is employed at your enterprise. And the neat thing is we'll show you we can do uh, certs can be as short as one hour or as long as multiple years. The last part, of course, is letting the user in. That's called validation. Well, the nifty thing is uh, the product Cisco has developed, the ASA 8.x, does some wonderful validation and specific um, authorization of the information in the certificate and we allow the ASA itself that allows the user in. And the, it could be the ASA or the IPsec uh, appliance. What does this look like to the deploying enterprise? Well, today you have your Cisco resources. And the Cisco resources are what? Your Cisco resources, resources are your IPsec or your ASAs. And then we add secure off. And what is secure off? Secure off is an appliance that sits in your DMZ, protected by your ASA using your data store. So what that is, and let me repeat that, secure off is an appliance that sits in, sits in the enterprise DMZ, protected by your ASA, and then utilizing your data store. Very important, we do not have a data store. We're using your Active Directory, LDAP, et cetera, and we are front-ended by the Cisco ASA. So you don't need a fully qualified domain name, nor do you need a URL for our, uh, our appliance. It is front-ended and we'll show you the configuration of that. Once the authentication occurs, we, that is the secure product, pushes down a browser client that is supported for IE, Firefox, and Safari. What's relevant about the browser client? The browser client stops the support calls because it does the magic. And what I mean by the magic is it actually puts in the X509 private public key pair where the Cisco product is looking for that private public key pair. So there's no calling help desk going, ah, the ASA is not recognizing it. The IPsec client's not, not recognizing it. It, it. The browser client does that. It, as well, we'll show in the demo as well, the browser client also can update the profile. Lastly, and this is where our product uses some real nifty 2008 rocket science. That is, the, the secure appliance utilizes a band WSE 3.0 authenticated, that means certificate authenticated, web services. This is where the telephony, where the SMS messaging, and where the certificates come from. That's why our product can literally be installed in an hour in an enterprise. And why can't it? Because what is, what is the secure of appliance besides being something that sits behind your ASA? It is three things. It is a web server that you'll see that will have a dialogue with the end user. 
it is to a set of connectors that connects to your LDAP or LDAP, uh, your Active Directory LDAP, and three, it is a set of web services client stubs that can make calls to our hosted web services. You do not need to host these event services. Multi-factor hosts these for you. Now we have a model for the Fortune 100 where we can actually take these web services and have it reside in the enterprise. Why secure off? Let's just wrap this up before the demo. Basically, the whole idea is let's put out a non-fishable tokenless strong authentication that's actually deployable and designed to be deployed in a couple hours and integrated into your Cisco solution. The goal is let's eliminate help desk calls through user self-registration. Let's lower admin uh, overhead by utilizing your existing data store and having a technology that's been pro proven and certified by the Cisco certification team to integrate into the ASA. Um, lastly, for the resellers on this call, what is relevant and to the Cisco team, this is a Cisco product differentiator. We took time to work with the Cisco BU to make this work with the Cisco SSL and IPsec products. This product only is integrated into the wonderful Cisco Remote Access product.